you explain what inflation is? Inflation explainer. Okay. So it, it's the way a market woman will understand. Yeah. So it, I think the best the way, way a child. Yeah. Perhaps a primary school child will understand what inflation is. I think it just means when you go to market yesterday and the price of a product that you buy, such as bread, egg, milk, you know, increase based on what you get when you go there today. So simply if yesterday or last month you bought bread for 300 naira and when you went there today it increased to 450 and you can have that across uh, uh, you know, different uh, uh, products. So from transportation to food to services that you buy, you know, as much as the price is increasing, what is happening at the, uh, at the national or global level is a general inflation. So it's just increasing price, period. The, 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 how will I put it now? Okay, 18.17 minus 18.12%. Right. You're getting a 0 0.05. Yes. So that 0 0.05, what does it mean? So uh, essentially... Don't mind me, is it yeah, that it, like I, we're in a class. Yeah, but I, I understand it. Yeah. It just means that if you, if, let's assume you have about a thousand products that people buy. It means that one or two or a number of them, right, add a reduction in the price in certain places across the country. So 0 0.05 itself just means, if you want to look at it in percentage, it means five out of every 10,000. So it means if there are 10,000 products, maybe just five of them, you know, are the ones that had increase in price. So it's then almost saying nothing changed, right, uh, overall. Um, mm -hmm. Because anything that is not up to a 1% change, or anyway, let me not it's say that. It's about negligible. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah so it's, it's insignificant, really, mm -hmm. if, you, if you ask me. You know, from 18.17 to 18.12, you've not even crossed the second de uh, decimal, you know, in, in percentage, uh, you know, to say, oh, something great is happening. And, you know, I've seen commentaries saying, oh, we, we, we think that something good is happening, whatever is doing this should be doing something, uh, should, should continue to do what they are doing. But if you ask the everyday Nigerian <laughs> what changed in the market, everybody's saying the price of things are increasing. And that's where it becomes, you know, uh, a, a, a cause for further analysis. What really brought about the changes? If you look at factors that determine inflation in an economy, almost everything is showing that we shouldn't even be having, you know, a reduction. And that's why an insignificant reduction may be, you know, uh, 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 you know, it shows uh, that some, so at least something is happening, something which we will interrogate. And, and trust me, you may say nothing is happening if you like. You get. Uh, and why am I saying that? The key things that determine inflation, you know, so there are like three different ways you can categorize inflation. There is the headline, there is the food, and there is the core. The core inflation, which some countries use to determine their monetary policy changes, uh, you know, didn't reduce, right? And the food prices or index, the food price index, it's what reduced. And, and if you still see the caveat that MBS says that major things that people buy, even within the food basket, did not reduce. There was still increase in you know, tubers, milk, egg, bread, you know, and, and the rest of it. So what really, really changed is almost nothing, if, if, you, if you ask. Mm, okay, let's interrogate what you're saying now, which is almost nothing. Mm. I, I want to disagree with that. All right. And, and let me put it this way. Um, inflation at 18% for an economy like Nigeria, it shouldn't be in the first place. It's, it's huge. Then if you take a look at where it has, okay, how it got to 18%, what were the factors that contributed to uh, an inflation of 18%? Okay. Just speak to uh, me about that. That's where, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm so coming small, small. So, so if, if you take the most significant, you know, uh, uh, impact globally, which is mm -hmm. the pandemic, right? The, if you look at the figures, even the food price uh, uh, data that MBS brings out, you will see that from April last year to date, you had like uh, uh, a significant increase in the f uh, uh, prices of food, you know, and a lot of people were withholding uh, 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 their money. They weren't putting money in the bank per se. You know, people were doing a lot of uh, 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 exchange rate also. For even food Our exchange rate also fell. Bank. You know, the CBN had to declare, mm -hmm. you know, a devaluation of Naira, which also then meant that what you were buying for five Naira, 
that you now start to buy at seven era you're already saying that the, the value of the money has reduced so the quantity of things you can buy will also reduce you know and there was a time you know, if you remember sometime last year where we also had the border closure you know and all of these issues so all of these essentially and of course the insecurity in the country I, I just before i came in i saw the all share index also deepen which is all the things that speaks to investment uh, investors are rethinking whether they want to put more of their money here you know ease of doing business is not favorable you know the media uh, uh, the press freedom data is not favorable so almost everything that should bring about you know a positive change in in price of things or in investment or in production is on the negative or is on the downslide and that explains why we had the inflation that we had which at 18 percent at 18 percent thank you now you've come to where i want us to interrogate which is some of those factors that contributed to the 18 percent that we saw at that time some of those factors are not there anymore you know like there was a time there was fuel increase you remember right where we had um fuel queues right in f filling stations as we saw fuel prices increase of course transportation costs increase right. now there's no fuel price increase you mentioned the border closure right there was a time our borders were closed August 2019. Right. It was opened late last year, I think December 2020. Right. Now there's no border closure. Right. Uh, what else? Electricity prices at that time, you know. Uh, what else again? So what I'm trying to say, right. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is some of those factors, I will call them like one-off factors. Right. So they've gone. So I use, uh, my question now is, with the trend that we saw that inflation is still high right. at 18, but it is decelerating. Do you think that the way inflation is right now, it will continue to decelerate? I hope you now understand yeah. where I'm coming from. I, I get what you're coming you know, from. I'm interrogating those numbers right. with the data. With the data. Yes. So, so if you look at the social political situation, you will see that you're not getting the changes. You're looking at, you know, one-off. So when you remove border, when, you, when the border closure was, you know, uh, 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 removed, what you had is that you had more import. But at a time that your money, your, your, your Naira has devalued. So even what you would have bought when the border wasn't closed at, say, 1,000 Naira, you are now buying at 1,200 when it finally came in. So you have not, you've only opened the border so that we will buy things at a, higher, at a higher rate. You see what I'm saying, right? The farmers, every other day there is kidnapping, there is, you know, there is banditry, of course, uh, the southeast, the, almost every region of the country is, you know, is tense when it comes to security. So farmers don't get to go to the uh, farm as they used to. And when they don't have enough output, as you would expect, of course, they have to you know, augment it by also increasing the price of products, right? So even though you say, oh, we've, we've reduced the price of fuel, and mind you, the price of fuel is not, did not reduce. It's only that government is subsidizing it. It means that those that are doing the refinery, refining are not smiling but to the bank. But, but, but as consumers, we're buying it as a, at, the, at the subsidized rate. They're so buying it at the subsidized rate, yeah. but there was a point of increase. Yeah, there was a the point year. of increase. Now we're at 162. That was not where we were April 20, uh, uh, 2020, right? I think we, we started with like 120-something or 145 or so, and then we are now at 162, right? And, and you know that what you buy in Abuja is not what they buy. In the, uh, I tell you, I was you coming go, to that if also. you go 30 kilometers away from Abuja to Kuje, some places in Kuje, nobody buys fuel for 162. But, but food is a bit cheaper there than in Abuja. You would imagine. Do, 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 do you understand? You, you would imagine until you ask people there. Because no. that same Kuje is one area, if you ask, where banditry is really happening. That's where you get people kidnapped in Abuja. Yes, I'm the not even just talking so of, much of, of Kuje. That. With Kuje, which you've spoken about now, right. what came to my mind is, like, with what you just said, in terms of price of food, for example, right. that the price we buy food in Abuja is different from the price they buy certain foods in Lagos or certain foods in my village. Right. I don't know if you understand what I I'm do. saying. Uh, perhaps a, a paint of Gary, a mudu of Gary, <laughs> would be a bit cheaper in my village right. than a mudu of Gary in Abuja. Right. I hope you Right. I hope you understand what I I'm get saying. what you're saying. Yes. But you see it, it's like a Tom Dick and Harry situation, right? Mm. What you get cheaper in uh, in Abuja will be different from what you get cheaper in the villages, the rural urban uh, you know dynamics of even the inflation figures, right? Um, 
So you probably have to pay less, I would imagine, relatively for electricity here than they have to pay there, right? Because they now have to buy the same fuel, uh, diesel, uh, petrol, to, to, to run their generators, right, and get electricity, which you probably have much more here than they, uh, they, they do in the rural area. So it's just uh, a, a, a give and take of what is increasing in price. And you know, when we bring everything together, aggregate as a composite, you then have what's translated to what we have. Oh. Not to say that 0.05% reduction is not desirable or it's not something we should look forward to, but I'm looking at it from other economic factors that determine inflation. Right, mm. the NPR is, is being retained at 11 point something percent. The money in circulation is increased, and when money increases, natural basic economy says that higher money supply is higher inflation. Naturally, if you look at the figures of CBN, right, so those are things that really would tell, right, whether things are going down. We, 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 we sampled about 3,600, you know, buyers and sellers, you know, I mean, data fight now, some about a month ago, and we're asking them price before COVID and price right now. And we we're seeing changes of up to 1,500 in the price in of, of, of things like Gary, you know. Ya That's food commodities. Food commodities. Now, if okay. you're having such, you're having almost 200%, 150% change in price, that can go in a month or two. Good that we have zero point, uh, uh, you know. I'm looking forward to the food price data that MBS will bring out next uh, to now see, you know, uh, commodity by commodity, what really you know, affected okay. the changes in food price. Now, we're talking about this inflation, and mo majority of Nigerians will usually go, okay, food commodities or food commodities or food, food, food. Are we also taking a look at even other sectors? Because right. if we take a look at some sectors may not have experienced inflation as food. For example, like here in Abuja, going around in Abuja, in fact, I was at a salon over the weekend, and uh, my stylist got a new store. So I went to her new store. I was happy for her right. you know, as a young woman coming up. So I asked her how much was the rent. And when she told me that, and I compared the rent because I know people that were there before right. that used to pay, it's now lower. Commercial real estate. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So are there some sectors too that are not suffering this inflation that we're talking about? You, you, you get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying, that there are, there are sectors that probably brought about the changes, but not necessarily what affects the everyday Nigerian, you, you get, which is why I said the core inflation, you know, increased. Why the food price inflation, uh, no, sorry, yeah, the food price inflation increased, but the core inflation, which then deals with every other thing but food, food you know, was what really, really reduced, which is what you're speaking which to. So, you know, uh, mm. you, when you spoke about electricity, you spoke about, uh, uh, you know, transportation, you, you know. So if, if, you, if you look down that line, the border is open, so probably you get things. The, the, the value of what you will buy with $3,000 today, if we're going to be spending in dollars, will be more, more asset than what you would have bought with it some six, eight months ago. Okay. Whether we should leave this... Uh, class for a bit <laughs> because <laughs> it is sounding more like a class but it's good um let's take a look at the outlook for inflation your own outlook for inflation do you think that inflation now at 18 percent which is seemingly slowing down has reached its peak are we, are we going to see worse than 18 percent or where it is right now it has no other place to go than down i, I i'll wait till september oh really Se september your bad people say long long uh, the, the, re <laughs> the reason is simple. So, you know, some of the things that are counterintuitive is you had a festive period just, you know, ended, Ramadan, fasting you know, ending. and you had a, sl a, a, a downward slide in inflation. Okay. That's, it's not the normal thing you get in a typical festive period, right? So, mm. as Nigerians prepare for, you know, the end of the year, right, you probably, I, I wait for a Q3, Q4, you know, uh, 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 inflation data before I'll say that. Because almost everything, uh, until you take some of those social, uh, political issues away, right? Uh, the things are, you know, speculative reasons why people, people are probably keeping their money. I will tell you, oh, I'll keep my money in other currencies than keep it in Naira, right? Because, and so when those things start to happen, when people deposit less of Naira, you know, in the bank, it has imp implication. St schools, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, schools abroad, people will be going to schools abroad right now, so they will need more dollars. And the more dollar you need, the more inflation that you're calling for, 
because now you're using a lower, a devalued uh, currency to buy a higher currency. So those are the things that happen uh, July, August, September. People who have more demand for dollars from CBN, from the bank, right? So that's why Is I said- Is that the only factor you're looking at? I'm looking factors, at a lot of factors. Okay. I'm looking at- How about the food factor? The then? food factor, really, I, 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 if you come to food, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see anything that's changing. Perhaps with- uh, Because um, of the insecurity. But, but is, has it really, I asked my guest this too yesterday, has it really pervaded the whole country that we cannot also produce food? If you take a look at it, even what is happening across the country, the different interventions, for example, across different commodities, hopefully in the next few months we're going to be seeing, or we're already seeing a bit of it, we're going to be seeing those inflows. Don't you think that those would also contribute to perhaps food inflation falling I'm that would definitely affect no, I'm, I'm just taking a look at the whole stuff you know I'm, in I'm hopeful because most of the things that you have stimulus for in the country are cash crops which means things that people naturally want to you know even export right in terms of agricultural produce right so you have stimulus for cotton you have for cocoa you have for you know uh, maize cassava right and I, I, I would just say, uh, as, a, as an optimistic Nigerian, we, we can only pray that it gets better. But the figures, the figures I am showing as if will come to anything 17% before but the did year you, ends. Did, did, were you surprised with the data yesterday? Absolutely. People were surprised. Right? Absolutely. So what if you're surprised again? Uh, uh, that's why I said I'm hopeful. I, okay. I, I, want, a better, I, I want a better number yeah. indicator for the country. I mean, it, that's the only thing we want. Who, who, wants to, who, wants to, who wants to spend so much? you know, to get food when you have the level of unemployment that we have, you, you know, in, in the country. You, you probably just want, you know, everything to, uh, you know, uh, ease out. But you've got to take away some of those, uh, uh, you know, things that are really, really impacting on prices of, uh, of food or prices of even services that people buy. Okay. I think final question. What inflation level do you think will be comfortable for us as a country at this time? If, if I go back to my Eco 101, you've got to go be, uh, be, below double digit. Double digit. Right. 